Hello everyone, and welcome to another video where today we're going to be talking about another wilderness hazard. Now luckily, this hazard isn't one you're just going to bump into, but it is still serious enough for me to talk about. The hazard involves this plant, which many of you might recognize as common reed. It's one of the most widespread and invasive species here in North America, and it's very useful stuff for making fires or putting on a survival shelter to waterproof it. Now the danger actually only comes when you try to harvest the plant. And there's a very good example of something that is actually quite dangerous. You see, if I were to really try to pull this and press hard to grip it with my hand, there's a chance that I would crush the cane and it would slip in my hand. And that is very, very bad. And I'll show you why in a second. You see, when the reed is compressed, it'll break in a linear fashion. And oftentimes, when it does, it'll form a sharp edge. And if you're holding on to it at the time and it slips in your hand, it can give you a really bad cut. And in the case of this wilderness hazard, I have personally experienced what it feels like to have one of these cut you. And trust me, you don't want that to happen. In fact, I never knew it was a risk until I was actually cut by one of these. To put it bluntly, it's basically an industrial strength paper cut. So, what can you do to avoid this? Well, if you're really worried, you could always just use a different resource. You know, start your fire with something else. But, in my opinion, there's very little that starts fires as well as this stuff. I mean, birch bark does, but this is far more plentiful and available. In my opinion, the best way to avoid getting cut is to choose the right canes in the first place. Especially this time of year, stuff like this will look like it's been dead for a while, but in reality, it hasn't. This is still green up top. And this is the stuff that's most likely to cut you because it still is very sturdy and it's really hard to rip this either out of the ground, apart, you know. The only reason I would use this is for rainproofing a survival shelter, and even then I'd probably try to use something else or cut it with a knife or something. If you do need to break this by hand, what you need to do is bend it till it breaks, make sure there's nothing that'll slip in your hand, so get a decent grip on it, and instead of pulling, you're going to rotate around and around until it breaks off. Luckily, you don't need to worry about it at all if you're just pressing it down in your hand. In fact, usually when I'm prepping this for a fire, I will actually crush it with my fingers. Essentially, the only way this can be a hazard is if you're not aware of the danger or ignoring it, and you allow this to slip in your hand while you're holding it with great force. Now, I know that might sound like an unlikely set of circumstances, but I assure you it does happen, especially in the winter when you might be in a bit of a hurry to make a fire. But anyway, that's all I really have for today. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. See ya.